I'd like to start by introducing Justin Boulanger, the acting CEO of South Coast NRM, to officially open the conference. Thanks, Penny. Uh, Kaya Kaya, good morning. Um, well, it's uh, fantastic to see such a great turnout today. Um, what's going to be an excellent day of information, discussion, and um, I hazard to guess even possibly a little bit of debate about what our climate means to us in the South Coast region. Um, it's also great looking around uh, the crowd to see so many people who've helped us in terms of the journey and, uh, in understanding more about our climate on the South Coast. So um, that, that's fantastic. Um, I'd especially like to acknowledge the presence of um, Carol Pedersen, who unfortunately has just departed. Um, but uh, Rob Stewart, CEO of the Shire of Plantagenet, uh, Helen Tasker, a new director with South Coast NRM, Simon Lyas, the Executive Officer of Regional Development Australia, Keith Bradby, uh, the CEO of Gondwana Link, and also all of you, the various um, scientists, uh, government representatives and um, community members, most importantly, that have come today. So welcome and um, thanks for turning up. Um, there are a number of people here that I've never seen before. So for those of you who don't know what um, know us, um, South Coast NRM is a large not-for-profit organisation that works between Warpole and Esperance and inland to places like Tambal, Upper Ravensforp and Salmon Gums. Um, our focus is to find solutions that lead to a productive and healthy environment. And to do this, we invest between seven and $10 million each year into projects that are delivered by a range of community representatives and government agencies and uh, landowners. Front and centre in everything that we do are our agricultural, terrestrial and aquatic landscapes, their unique species and um, our equally unique people that we have across the south coast. Um, so it shouldn't be, to, shouldn't be of any surprise to anyone here that we're also deeply interested in our climate and what it means for the work that is done here within our region. So we know that our climate is variable and it's changing. And as an NRM group and as a community, we need to understand how this rapidly changing climate might impact on our natural resources and also our people, plants, animals, um, and how they may adapt. Um, so today is just yet another step in that understanding. And it continues on for more than seven years of research and planning that we've been doing as a community in this space. Uh, in 2009, with Melanie Price, we completed a climate change risk assessment for the region. We were one of the first areas and regions in Australia to actually do that. And this showed at that time that the climate was already having a significant impact, particularly on our water resources and our biodiversity. Over the past three years, we've worked towards incorporating climate change into our strategic plan, which reflects the need to plan for the here and the now. So today is about presenting the latest climate in information to our community and our community came to us specifically with the request for more information and a greater understanding. So we know that they're eager to know what climate science means to them and how it aligns or in some cases doesn't align to what they actually see out in the bush and in the paddocks and um, on the beaches. Um, so today we'll address a lot of, a lot of those needs, hopefully. Um, today is also about showcasing some of the opportunities that are available right here within our region. Um, and one thing I wanted to highlight specifically is South Coast NRM is uniquely placed to help our communities through collaborative work with local governments particularly and also planning agencies to assess and plan for some of the impacts of climate change that you'll hear about today. So I encourage you, if you're a ratepayer or even if you're a local government rep in the room and you're interested in what um, climate change means to the places where you live and the things that you manage, um, please come and have a chat to us. We're more than happy to talk to you about the sort of services that we can offer um, that can help you in that understanding and preparing for what is a, a changing, um, changing environment. Um, equally, if you're a farmer um, that's interested in adopting new farming methods that can improve production, whilst also sequestering carbon, come and have a chat to us too. We, um, we've got people that can help in that sort of space as well. So with the advert over, um, I'd like to formally welcome you. Um, I encourage you to enjoy all the presentations today and to think deeply about what the future of the South Coast um, may, may look like. Thank you and welcome. <laughs> 